guys and welcome to Amy and Shanelza and welcome back every time every time and um, so basically today I have for you a June favorites now it has been a long long time since I've done a favorite and I do apologize for that and I don't really have a massive favorites either I just knew that there's a few products that I've been loving this month and I felt like oh my god it's the end of June why don't I do a favorites finally so here you have it and I'm just gonna whiz through some of the things I've enjoyed this last month or so even longer than that but yeah so first off we have this. This is from the Real Techniques range and it's like a cleaning brush mitt. I'm not sure precisely what it's called and I don't know where the box is but I will link all the stuff below. Um, but yeah, it's just really easy to use. You have like your side for smaller brushes, medium and thicker brushes and you basically put the fluid in and kind of scrub it around and I just find it so practical because it's rubbery like it cleans so easily like there's no damage to it. Obviously it's still quite soft on the brushes as well. So great invention thank you so much and this you can slip your hand on it so it's literally like -da, done and then you can rest them on there as well but obviously us girls have a lot of brushes so all our brushes ain't fitting on this one but you know my point um so yeah i love it thanks so recently i did actually do a lanzarote holiday favorites and in that was obviously my tangle teaser i've loved tangle teaser for years and years and years and now they've brought out a thick and curly one which i'm obsessed with that one and now i basically am one of the faces of the new tt hair squad which is an amazing honor because obviously you know when you love a brand and then you get to be a part of them it just feels like whoa absolutely well so we had a photo shoot and that was stunning and that will be coming out in august and um, basically they're doing a 30 day hair challenge so i'm currently taking part in that so i'm trying to look after my hair as much as possible obviously i always try and do that but this month for my 30 days i'm super super trying to do that so yeah in my favorites i wanted to include this bad boy i apologize it's got hairs on but whatever it shows i've been using it so this is the Tangle Teaser Blow Styling Smoothing Tool and you basically use this when you blow dry your hair and it is so so good like I find it so easy to brush my hair while I'm doing it basically the bristles are so thick and long that they get through all the hair nicely you have to kind of adjust yourself to using it because I think at first I kept plonking it on my head and I was like oh it's quite heavy but now I've got the hang of it I just love it and these bristles don't overheat whatsoever so that's great they're not going to melt you can grab big chunks of hair if you want to smaller sections and it's just so easy to use I mean look at the size of it and Tangle Teaser it has a handle even though I love Tangle Teasers for the way they're shaped and not precisely having a handle but I just think this is great and it's so good that they brought out styling on so you know they're going everywhere they've got their compact they're thick and curly they're normal they're styling they're you get me they've literally got everything so they cater to every need and I think that's just so cool and they're so good and yeah this is definitely a fave and this is what I'll be using from now on to style my hair until they maybe bring out another one so next on to lotions and potions basically Delight Touch sent me um, a selection of their products and I was actually really really impressed with them so here I have an organic sea kelp night cream as you can see I've already used like I think it's about up to here now quite a chunk of it so it rises up and yeah it's just incredible like the texture is so soothing I have really sensitive skin so I always worry trying new products I've had no issues whatsoever no breakouts with the face cream no dry skin in terms of using this all over my body and it's quite relaxing like you put it on at night it's got this gorgeous scent obviously I cannot describe scents you know if you have watched my videos before I just can't describe them um, but it's really kind of soothing but refreshing it's kind of like smells a little bit herbally and I think that's why it's for nighttime cream so not only is it moisturizing and looking after your skin overnight it's also relaxing you and getting you ready for bedtime literally given to your body's desire with this luxurious night cream that is 100% true like my body desires it every night time I've got it on the side and I'm like it's time for bed now and I'm one of the people I know I over moisturize and you guys know that anyway but moisturizing at night time is a chore but when you've got something that you know that's going to be peaceful and it smells lovely it becomes an enjoyment so really impressed and then along with that they send an organic cucumber cleanser show you a tiny bit that was a huge bit i didn't want to waste it so yeah it's just like there's no drying element to it like it looks like lotion literally and that's what i love about it you know me i'm all about the moisture and it literally soothes in so not like this looks like cream and it's not it's cleanser guys like how insane and then I'll use that and then I'll just take it off with a baby wipe or I'll wash it off my face it literally no sticky residue no dryness like 
have you just feel cleansed but nice and the smell, the smell, you know when it's strong but not overpowering because it's so fresh, so yeah. Oh, I can smell it now. And literally, you feel clean. You feel like you've just come out of like a little exotic bath or something. I know that sounds OTT, but honestly, I swear to God. Oh, so nice. And then finally, we have their face moisturizer. So the face moisturizer kind of looks the same as well. So that's why when I first used the cleanser, I was like, wait, am I using the moisturizer? But no, it is a cleanser, people. So here's the face moisturizer. And again, really soothing, really easy to blend in. You know, soaks into the skin but without disappearing. Um, yeah, it's just nice. And again, I've had no reactions. With me and my sensitive skin, I get dry skin very often. I do get the odd breakout and nothing, no reaction with this, which tells me how good the ingredients are and just how nice it feels. And yeah, I love it. So, at last in the lotion potion section, we have this vitamin E eye cream. I may have mentioned this in my holiday favourites but I just wanted to mention it again and basically it's finally an eye cream I found that isn't overly expensive and works with vitamin E, it's moisturising, I use it underneath and on top of my eyes and they do feel really nice, really soothed, refreshed. I don't rub my eyes like I used to at night, things like that. I'm trying to rush through these so fast because I'm really running out of time but basically we are now moving on to makeup so I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I love this, like I can't believe it's taken me so many years to try this. Guys, I know it is so, so expensive, but I swear to God, if you think about how, well for me personally, how many like loose setting powders I tried to buy for my under eye, probably adds up, it does, in fact it does add up to way more than what this costs. I mean this pot is huge, you guys know this is going to last a long time and it's so good. It gives me that brightening effect, it's not overly drying, I mean I do have creases under my eyes naturally, but I just feel like this doesn't accentuate them, I think that's the right word that I'm looking for, and yeah, it's just like a kind of flawless finish, no dryness, really easy to use, you don't feel it caking or anything like that, so love it, love it, love it. So you know me and mascaras, I try a new mascara every other week. Anywho, so I got myself, when I was at the airport, the Lancome Grand Ois Mascara, and I love it. So the stick, the stick, the wand looks like this, and basically it curls so you can get to your eyelashes and all the angles a lot easier which is great. I mastered it on the top back lashes, fine. Bottom lashes, I'm still struggling to master it, but I love it. My lashes are so thick, so full, so voluminous, so like, wow! Great mascara, I'm glad I tried this, and how practical with a bendy wand, like, come on. Moving on to the next product, so this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle Highlight. I basically used to use their Global Glow Highlight, and it was very bronzy, very, you know, bright, shimmery highlighting, but very golden. And I was like, oh, I wanna try a more champagne color, and I tried some other ones, and I did really enjoy them, and I still love them, but then I was like, you know you love MAC, let's try the Soft and Gentle that everyone raves about. And let's just say I'm in love. I mean, okay, girl, my highlight is popping today, and I do have two products on it. I have Benefit What's Up underneath, and then this on top. And okay, for a video that I previously did, so if you kind of want this look, it's slightly adjusted, that will be in another video. Um, but basically, that's why I'm really glowing. But yeah, no, it's just an insane highlight, and it stands out so much, even without sort of using your spritzer to dampen it and, you know, get that wet effect. Like, it just has great pigment and shines, like, like the sunshine. Okay, so next, I have this Kiko eyeshadow, and it's basically just a... It's basically just a high pigment wet and dry shadow in the shade 03. It's literally just a really nude, natural skin colour, which is a shadow I've been looking for for a long time, that basically you can just wear and not look like you're wearing shadow. Got it. And then I'm sure you guys know, Benefit brought out a whole new brow range. I basically have two of the products. One I just started using this today, which I have on today. I have Cabral on my brows today, um, which I really like, but I feel like it's more of a natural finish and I need to kind of adjust and get used to wearing it. Um, but basically, in Elle magazine, you could get a smaller version of their Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And it literally is that, like, I absolutely love it. It's so easy to use. So it's got a little point like that and you shape your brows and fill them in and it's so, so pigmented. So once that runs out, I definitely want to pick up a full size one. And I just love how easy it is to use. So easy to transport. You can just whip it out, fill it in if you need to, which I have never needed to fill out during the day anyway. But you know, you've got it, you can take it. And then this has been a fave for quite a while. This is the Maybelline New York Master Ink Liner. It's a matte charcoal black liner and I just find it so easy to use. Like, I mean, I've used it a lot of times now, so the brush probably isn't as sharp as it maybe previously was. But it's just so easy to get the line and it's so like, 
dark. You know you use liner and it kind of doesn't go over shimmery eyeshadow or it just looks a bit faded. This is matte black jet black in your face liner on fleek girl. It's literally just so easy to use and just it's black. It comes out black. So guys, I whizzed through some of my favourites then. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you find them practical. Please do let me know in the comments below if there's anything you've tried that I should maybe try, or if you try any of these, or if there's anything you're intrigued by and you want to go out and find it. I will link them all below so you have access to all of them. But yeah, I felt like they were quite a little varied mix, um, but not a massive favourites. And I'm kind of glad to be back doing favourites. It's been so long. So if you did enjoy this video, please again feel free to give it a thumbs up. And please do subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.